this is an extreme and an extreme day. <laughs> Those intros are the greatest. Thanks, Sandy. There's the music, finally. <laughs> this is fucked up. It's finally not. Mm. Chris. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know if I like the setup. You can't do it over. Sandy, this is where you're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. You can't do this one over. This one is a live on the air. You can pretend that's what it is and you can't do it over. John, she's laying down the law. All right. Mm. Hi, George. No one cares that I'm here. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Wait a minute. Right there. Hi, George. This is George. <laughs> I'm going to introduce today's show. All right, George, I'm talking. Once upon a time, in a land not so far from here. Holy mackerel. There was a puppeteer woman. Mm-hmm. And the very first show she created, with the help of a very good friend, I believe the show was called Lena. George and jo George and John presents John. Yes, it was definitely called that. That's all I say. <laughs> George, yeah, enjoy Ella, our guest today. Oh my God, we've we've been in a whirlwind, uh, and we have so many announcements to make and everything. Spalding, I was your first guest, and you don't care. I, no, you and George, I I remember it now. Mm -hmm. I remember it. The old shows, you were both very needy. Mm -hmm. Both very like, and I, uh, you know, I don't know if this was a good idea today. Don't say that, Lena. I thought you weren't going to try to puppeteer with one hand. You know how stupid this looks? All right. Sandy? Hmm. Sandy, are you mad? A little. Not really. Hello, Christopher. Hello, Sandy. Sandy is Christopher's twin flame. Yes. <laughs> Sandy Denny, if you don't recognize that picture. <laughs> Christopher drew this picture of me at the time. I was very thrilled. I, and I'm still thrilled, Christopher. Hello. How are you, dear? I'm well. Mm, good. Everything going nicely for you, I think? Yes. Great. You know I love you. I love you too. All the time. Every time. You know? I play your music. I was playing it just the other I know you were. I looked at you fondly. What's going on? George uh, Spaulding? I am going to lay back and give you time to realize how much <laughs> you really do miss me. All right. Spalding, I really do miss you. I know. I, I had a lot to talk about, and then I was like, oh, she's getting puppet after puppet. She's fucking doing this again. This was a bad idea. What are you talking about? I know. You're going to get over-channeled, and then you're going to forget about all of us again for a long time. No, she's not going to do that. Things have changed now. What's changed? Spalding. He's kidding. That's actually him kidding. Oh my god, he scared me. First of all, Christopher, it's our 22nd wedding anniversary. That's right. Happy wedding anniversary, dear. Happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. There's nothing bad back there that shouldn't be seen, right? Like <laughs> vibrating eggs, perhaps? Shut up, George, you fucking weirdo. This is why I don't have you on. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm just being nasty, but I'm sorry. Uh, this is a weird, not a weird situation, but and uh, just to make note, George and Sandy are actually. Are you, okay? I don't know that. Yeah, because it's been so long since you checked in. Are you and George still an inter uh, stellar? Uh, we are we still in a relationship? Yes, we are. Of course, we are. You don't think me, your sister, would come in and tell you if me and George were not together anymore? 
John. <laughs> I don't get involved with sand. <laughs> okay. Bunny, <laughs> can you help? <laughs> These are beautiful flowers that Christopher brought home for our 22nd wedding anniversary. Aren't they lovely? Yes. And uh, John, you're being so grown up about this, I can't even, yeah, shut up. Um, what else is going on? Hi, guys. <laughs> Spalding, I love you. Mm. I love this man. Yeah. And I love, can I, of course, well, of course, you could, God, talk, please. All right. I, uh, me and Lena, you know, we're, we're, please, we really are. Yeah. You know, all of, really all of us, every single, every, 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 in this room, everybody, all right. We're all in cahoots, right? Mm-hmm. But again, I was a big, I was a big draw. I was a big draw. I feel like, Sandy, hi. Hi. She, I, you, she can move me if you want. A little bit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but I don't understand why. Well, I kind of do. I'm not in the Warholian family yet. All right, Sandy. Um... Why are you talking? I don't know. I'm so happy to be here, really. I love this puppet. I don't care if we use it, but maybe you can spice it up a little bit, Lena. <laughs> Put some of that shiny stuff on it. All right, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Spalding? Yeah, I was waiting. Oh, you missed me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, please. On me. The cat can wait. Mm -hmm. uh, I stopped coming in for a while. We did some great, great shows together. But Lena and John were getting so drunk at that time. Yeah. They were getting so drunk at that time that, that I was falling off the wagon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's funny. Let's face it. When me and Lena first got together, all hell broke loose and everybody went nuts. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't want that, uh, you're not, it's not going, I'm not saying it's going to happen again, but I would let, you only want her to concentrate on one guest at a time if that guest is you, right? Mm hmm I don't mind sharing the stage with you. I don't mind sharing the stage with George. I, oh, therein lies the rub. What is the rub? What's the rub, bunny? Um, that's the rub. That's one of my problems. As an entertainer on Earth, I had to sit on stage alone. And I wasn't happy unless I was sitting on stage alone, telling everybody what it was all about. Ah, that's true. Hmm. Right? Everybody's clapping, and I... I had that to get over still when I got over here. I felt very important still when I crossed over, you know that? Well, I guess, no, I had an ego problem. It was it followed me over to the other side. It happens. You can put me close to Sandy again. All right. Very nice. I like her. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, and Lena, out here, it's like, you know, you still got to get over shit. Mm -hmm. So when you guys were drinking and channeling me, right, oh, God, this is interesting. <gasps> John, I never know what's going to happen. Oh, no. She likes to talk about all kinds of psychological crap like that. All right, so, go ahead. I had to stop coming through. I was under orders. I was under orders to stop coming through. Because remember, I was your guest quite a few times. I came in with Joey. I came in. Yeah, you did great. The bagels and locks. Yeah, we had bagels and locks one time. Yeah. Lena had it all set up. Oh, you guys missed some great videos. With the bagels and locks with Joey Ramon. Yeah. Hey, Joe. <laughs> I'm waiting for my war hole, Lena. You're going to get it. <laughs> Bowie. I don't, if I, you haven't, you're slipping. All right, Warhol for Bowie. Slipping? How fast am I supposed to crank these motherfucking things out? Yeah. Oh, she's screaming, I love you. Uh, I love you too. Who sang it? Both of us. Hi, boys. <laughs> George, such an important person. <laughs> You're going to get it. No, not. I'm not going to get it. Spalding, back to you. I like talking about your addictions and your problems. 
<laughs> yeah, well, it's not that it's not it's not anything that uh, anybody is not finding out now, especially those who are crossing over. The work is never done. The work is never done. So I had to stop coming through. Mm -hmm. Because I would be getting drunk with them. Yeah, you channel the booze, you know, and the and saying outlandish things. I said a couple of outlandish things about uh, just my thought processes that I was not happy with afterwards. Wow. Mm. Lena, there's a reason why many of those videos are now gone missing. And the ones that are meant to be recovered will recover. Right. Slowly but surely, I'm finding them in other places, th some really great ones that I'm not ashamed of. Possibly. I'm ashamed of how we let our emotions get away with us when you were under the influence. Right. Nothing that you said was untrue, ever. Nothing that you said was untrue, ever. Or untoward. Nothing was untoward. Mm -hmm. What does untoward mean? Chris? Nothing was untoward. Look it up. Undeserving. Ah, I like that. Yeah. That's fancy talk, honey. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy talk. Put her close to me. I can't stand it anymore. Oh, my God. She smells so good. Yeah, she does. She does smell good. Yeah. You know, I think Christopher might be Satan. Why is that? Jeez. <laughs> the, the smell of sandalwood really upsets. Sandalwood, really? Hmm. He gets sick to his stomach. What's sandalwood? Well, we'll have to look that one up, too. Why am I getting the feeling that sandalwood has something to do with the devil? You're someone showing me the devil in sandalwood. Ah. That is, uh, Lena. Yes. That is an important oil. And, a, and, a, and you should use it during ceremony when you're back outside burning. Okay. That's when you use sandalwood. All right. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That The negative energies can't tolerate it. They can't tolerate it. So are you saying Christopher is a negative energy? I'm saying that he is not a, ne a negative energy. I'm saying that he is prone to, uh, you know, uh, anxiety, which is lifting. He's much better than he used to be. And that's all I'll say, because that's Christopher's business, right, sir? Journey. It's my journey. It's his journey. My story. You sound like Kurt. Yeah, everyone's trying to crowd in here. This is, Lena, this is what I wanted to... Who am I talking to, Kurt or Spaulding? Mm. It's your son. Sp uh, sp I, Kurt is com coming through me, sort of. He's feeding me things to say. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you want to let Kurt through, even though we don't have a puppet? <laughs> Not a chance. Oh, Sandy, no, let him through. I don't give a damn. Hmm. Kurt Cobain, I'll just be like one second, and I just want to say this. Oh, Chris, nice legs, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's all I wanted to say. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Kurt. Bye. I'm sorry. I crashed. I won't do it again, but this is how easy it is. And Lena, this is how susceptible you are. You let it happen. Mm -hmm. So just concentrate on one. My opinion, Mom? Yes, Kurt Cobain. Mm. One or two guests at a time. Not counting Christopher. Christopher's, you know, he lives with you. That He's there. But, you know, what I'm saying, telepathy. All right. So I have three today. So what? It's a very special day. Yeah, it is a very special day. It's nice. So George and Sandy, even, okay, can I just talk about that dynamic a little bit? Yeah. George and Sandy Denny are um, twin, uh, sorry. they are soulmates. They have been together in previous car incarnations and had very good soulmate relationships through many incarnations. And so, even though Sandy Denny is Christopher's twin flame, mm -hmm, and George, are you and Olivia? We're not. You're not. No. I'm a singular saint. You're a singular saint. I am. I am a saint of circumstance. John, we got to play that song. <laughs> Isn't that a Grateful Dead song? Yeah. This is interesting, you know. Okay. You know why? Why? Because it's something that him and I have in common. That you and George are singular saints. Yes, that's correct. So what does that mean as far as like, you don't have a twin flame? 
We don't, but we are capable of generating our own flame with whomever we like. And having it nearly be, nearly be as powerful as a twin flame relationship. It will never be, and it certainly wouldn't surpass it. But that is what singular flames are put in place for, to generate heavy-duty power with other spirits. John? You picking up this or what? I think so, Chris. Yeah, all right. George, today's lesson. Yes, is right. What <laughs> that? <laughs> what you know? What George? You know what I ask myself every day? What do you ask yourself? I see that. <laughs> I'd say, what is life? What is life? Exactly. What is life? John? I wish we had a uh, tripod so I could dance with you. That's kind of good, though. Yeah. Uh, are you holding my bowls? You're doing that. He ruins it every... No, it's just fine. What is this piece of wood in front of me, Lena? I don't know. Any time of day, for the for the day. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you, buddy. Buddy, thanks to Harvest Snaps, the delicious uh, pea snap thing, and the flowers. Da -da -da -da. Spalding Gray with the great lessons. Thank you. Sandy Denny with the puppet made by Christopher back circa 2004. 13 or 14. Thank you very much. Please get my other puppet out soon. I will. George. Yes. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am just great. And last but not least, most certainly, Christopher. <laughs> Who's that? Oh no! And we had a surprise appearance today from da -da -da -da, Dad, Mom. Yeah, turn this off. All right. I knew I'd get in here. I swear to God, I knew it. <laughs> I was like, okay, she did a great postcard of me, but she also has a fucking puppet somewhere. I know it. I know it. I'm gonna get that puppet out, man. <laughs> oh, Kurt. <laughs> You feeling a little drained, Ma? I am. I have to tell you that I am. I feel like Frankenstein, like between my temple, like right here. Like, yeah, there. Right. Yeah. I love knocking heads with you, Ma. I feel good, man. It's better than being a cock knocker, right, Ma? Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>